Welcome to another video from 10x Investor Education. Today, I would like to talk about a company, a small cap value company, and I want to describe whether it can double in a year or not, and what are the factors for my logic. Okay, so this company known as Pangea Logistics Solutions, the stock number is P A N L, and it's in marine which is basically dry bulk ship containing container star okay so this is 190 million dollar value company with well, i'll show you revenue profits really really p is like 7.83 i think it's going to be a lot less based on projected earnings and it gives you some dividend close to three percent okay so i tell you why i choose this was first stock and this industry and I will show you how it is being traded. Okay, so one month back, I released a video on dry bulk, dry bulk market, a primer introducing B-Dry, which is one of my favorite ETF, which was trading around twenty dollars at that time, and it almost went up by twenty percent. And keep track of dry bulk shipping rate, and also the stocks. Okay, so these are some market. of the stocks. So this is a prime. So this is some of the stocks. I've been keeping track as you can see and uh, I, I released a video on Jenko shipping and trading company and uh, at that time when I covered this video I talked about Pangea logistics as well as you can see here almost all the stocks there except cash to maritime almost trading close to 52 week high which tells you the stocks are hitting new highs almost every week so again all of them are much much higher than their 50 week 50 day moving average and 200 day moving average which is a really really good sign given how the dry bulk market is okay so if you look at here the reason for this is container this is the latest news this is on freight waves website okay container rates rocket even higher and there is no end inside if you go in depth of this article basically what it tells you is a 40 feet the rate it could hit twenty thousand dollars and then the dry bulk rates are hitting you know the baltic daily index for asia east coast surged by around 20 percent in just few days okay so there are multiple reasons why this dry bulk rates keep hitting i don't want to talk in depth right but in general this cause after post covid global demand okay and also spending by us and china and other countries okay so that that's the main reason this bulk rates are and still compared to the peaks um these rates are still cheap but so there's potential for this um rate still to go up a lot okay that's the reason why i picked the stock in this sector so if you look at so what is pangea so let's get into details what is pangea is so this is Pangea Logistic Solutions. So they own bunch of vessels which can transport dry bulk goods, but at the same time, they provide foundation or logistic solutions and they do long-term contracts and they actually do a lot of port maintenance and other things, okay? So it's in a lot of companies are not US-based, but this particular company is US-based maritime logistics and transportation services company so which deals with transportation of lot of dry bulk cargos okay so they operate around 45 to 60 vessels and i think right now not 21 close to 23 or 24 they won't completely because they recently bought so high class sector secured in control of majority of the world's largest dry bulk vessels so not only that dedicated team out four offices in newport headquarters and then athens copenhagen singapore so this is a full-time logistics maritime company which mainly driven in dry bulk market and you can look at the video to get an overview but i'm not going to play the video i'm just giving you an overview okay so if you, i would like to quickly give you the presentation and uh, quarter earnings so if you look at here as said Currently they own 18, but soon a lot of ships are delivered. So there are 23 to 24 ships. So 30 to 40 market ships in short term, 
and uh, approximately 60 fleet okay so what did what do they do so this is one of the main you know company strength so core base of long term contracts providing sustained earnings okay so long term contracts providing sustained earnings so and also and also expanding terminal services business in massachusetts louisiana texas so they do a lot of operations in us and you, you can go through and uh, i will include uh, this presentation but you can go through you get an idea logistics as well as maintenance and long term contracts okay so what they do how they do it so if you look at here so this is uh, from me logistics solutions a global provider of comprehensive maritime logistics announced results for the quarter of march okay so uh, net income is 6 million dollars and then if you look at here uh, dil diluted earning per share is 13 cents okay so the, if you look at quart uh, quarterly revenue they actually made a uh, ton of money okay and their revenues are increasing so and also their cash flow is not increasing but so if you look at here so results ending for the three months march 31st is total revenue is 125 million dollars for three months ending march 31st compared to 95 million dollars for the three months 2020 so this is a 30 percent increase compared to previous year okay so main reasons are obviously the rates have been growing up daily and you know the other contracting service and other revenues and also they have been profitable company as we can see PE as well so the company the stocks is widely distributed if you look at here stock and uh, last almost uh, two weeks it's almost the, you don't see single sale single sale of the stock everything you know new purchases or addition to the fund holders if you look at here most of the funds that holding the stock are is micro cap or value funds okay so in my view this is a company that actually in a growing container rate so 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 125 million per quarter is like 500 million dollar revenue per year with market cap 200 million dollar okay so this year a lot better compared to last year so which means company is getting better and that's exactly the reason why last couple of months if you look at like three months or six months shares if you look at six months almost like you know two and a half dollars to four dollars it went up so my view my long-term projection is this will go to five dollars pretty soon and within a year the dry bulk rates continue to keep going up this could be easily double in value which is ten dollar stock with close to 400 million market market carpet because based on the how the dry bulk rates are going up almost every week so as you can see here everything almost positive news and um, and uh, this is basically and also you can look at almost i think couple of this one analyst rating with six dollar target but as you can see here but research team accumulate which is a buy rating street is buy rating cfra also buy rating and four decade research is a buy rating so if you guys are looking for a small cap a growth company in a growth sector which could double in a year or so with some protection of dividend and also not expensive i think this is a company that you should think of okay this is not investment advice i'm not your financial investment advisor so please contact before buying your ad investment advisor before buying any stock this is purely my research and the reasons why i want to own this stock please let me know what you think about this company about this stock in my view this is a really good value company in a growth and in a big growth sector of dry bulk and also container services please like the video and see you on my next video thank you